okay so there's a comma right here as this stuff is happening the company has become increasingly willing to compete for the mass market sales they all right so they is referencing company this they is plural um company is singular so this is no good so what about it willing to compete for the mass market sales it meaning the company would uh it previously would have conceded to rivals in the past versus it would in the past have conceded to rivals all right so this is fewer words this is clearer and probably the answer <laughs> So let's do, read it through one more time. As this is happening, the company, uh, you know, has become increasingly willing to compete for sales. It would, in the past, have conceded to rivals. Okay, so that makes sense. It proper, properly references references say a uh, company, and you know, so this is correct. So what's going on here in terms of structure? We have as this this um, thing is happening. And I actually didn't even read what's what's happening here. I know there's a comma here, and it starts with as, and it's not underlined. So I don't need to waste my time reading this part right here. So all I need to know is as something is happening, the, comp the company, this subject, has become blah, 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 you know, increasingly willing to compete for sales. It, right? Instead of they, it. Now, in common speech, you a lot of people say they, they, but on the GMAT, you want it. So the company, it, would in the past have conceded to rivals. See, the issue with, with D is it previously, meaning in the past, it previously would have conceded to rivals again in the past. So this kind of double repetition here makes D no good. And E places in the past here so it kind of sets the time period of what you're talking about it would in the past have conceded to rivals so you know as a recap we have a comma here we notice the word as we don't read the details of this part we simply focus on the subject the company and recognize that they violates violates company and it should be it so between D and E, we choose E as the final answer.